one of the distinctive tourist attractions of any visit to Da Lat in the hills of Vietnam is the historic railway. The impressive 1930s Art Deco style railway station is today one of the national historic treasures. Originally completed in 1932 after just 30 years of construction, the railway linked Da Lat with the main north-south railway line. In 1975, following periods of war, the line was partly removed to repair the main north-south trunk railway. During the 1990s, a 7 kilometer section of the historic sideline was reopened. While these Chinese-built steam engines were used to pull the train, today it runs with a diesel locomotive. The carriages are based on historic French style from around the 1900s. I did think that the carriages looked rather cute. Even though the morning train didn't run, there's still plenty to see around the station. Well here I am, I'm sitting in what appears to be the first class carriage of this historic train from Dalat to a village. Unfortunately I'm not going to be riding on it today. The scheduled services that I came to um, connect with are not going because the numbers are not enough. The next service is at 2 o'clock, booked out. There might be one at 4 o'clock if I come back, but no one knows. So it looks like my visit to Delat, especially to ride on this train, really, is a waste of time. So the message just has to be, if you want to ride on this train, come as part of an expensive group or don't bother coming to Delat on the hope of getting on the train. Well this group had booked ahead and pre-booked the train right out so there was no room for people like me. This was going to be the final shot in my movie, The Ride I Didn't Get. But life has its ups and downs and its changes, so the story continues. As the 2pm train departed with its crowd of happy passengers, the ticket seller came along the platform to inform me that they now had enough bookings to run the next train at 4pm. Would I like a seat? Of course I would. And here I am heading out on my long awaited ride on the Dalat Historic Railway. The ride is seven kilometres each way. And for the first few kilometres, we travel through the backyards of the local houses. But before long, we're going through areas of extensive horticulture.
Before long, we reached the end of the line of the village of Pai Bank. The return train trip allows time for passengers to visit the Lin Fiong Pagoda, which is only a short walk from the station. The pagoda provides a colourful kaleidoscope of mosaics and an assortment of Chinese religious figures and objects. Too soon, it's time to catch the train for our return trip to Darlat, and I have achieved my aim of riding the Darlat historical train.